I'm delighted to welcome today Tracy Walton from Essential Oils for Life. I think is it Essential Oils for Life. Essential Oils Life, yeah. Essential Oils Life. That's it. Apologies. Um, and you are a certified DoTerra essential oil advocate. Yes, indeed. Cool. So um, thank you for taking time today. And I'd like to ask you about the therapeutic um, side of the oils, because um, not everybody appreciates the difference between one oil from another and the quality. And whilst it's lovely to, to, to pop um, oils in a diffuser and think everything's wonderful, um, it's not quite that simple, is it? So absolutely. First of all, Tracy, before we launch into talking about oils, tell us about yourself. So where do you live? Um, what what have you done in life? What are your key things that you've been really happy with? Um, and um, tell yeah. us about Tracy Walton. So um, I am of that age where I'm just um, going through menopause. That's been a big thing um, for me. So that gives you an idea of of how old I am, although I'm not going to reveal that secret entirely. And um, I'm from Northamptonshire. So I've lived here about 30 years or so. I um, really love the area. It's so beautiful, brilliant to be. I'm near the countryside. We're so lucky that I've got beautiful lakes that I can walk near um, every day. And I know so many people um, are stuck inside like cities and, and flats. And it's so nice to have that open space here. I um, have a family. In fact, my um, boy is about to turn 18 tomorrow. Mm. So I can't believe that. Um, but yeah, um, my main background really has been marketing. And um, probably about 18 months ago now, um, I was really finding difficulties and wanted to find something a little bit more natural um, and ways to support me in those times when we couldn't get to pharmacies and doctors mm -hmm. and things very easily. Um, I really felt I needed some help that I could do myself, which brought me to, to the oils. Um, so, yeah, that's really kind of how I got, got into them. So you're using them yourself for menopausal symptoms. Is that, is that right? Uh, yeah, I mean, back, so back in 2020, when everything was all, all kicking off, my initial thing really I wasn't thinking about those symptoms that I was having it was about um, emotions and how I was feeling and I think a lot of people can relate to the fact that we were suddenly all much more anxious and um, we were separated from our friends so we didn't have that support network um, and I, I found I was struggling a little bit to be honest um, and a friend of mine had got the essential oils so I tried some of those and just wowed how much that helped me and then I started looking at all the other things that were going on in my life like not being able to sleep um, and that's a menopause thing definitely I know a lot of women have that issue. Okay so um, you mentioned about anxiety and you know the emotional state of people so so how can the oils help in that regard and what what type of oils what flavours should we say should uh, I don't know what you call them uh, what, what do you call them? It's not flavor, aromas. Is it? Aromas, that's say, yeah, aromas. I guess, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. so so which ones would you recommend for menopause? For menopause or for um, anxiety? Uh, both. Okay, so really for um, like the anxious feelings. Obviously, um, if you you're feeling um, that you have an occasional low moods and you need a boost and you need a kind of those times when you want to manage your, your emotions. Um, the really lovely calming effects of oils like lavender. Um, and also we have the serenity blend. Um, there's cedar wood as well. Any of the um, really, uh, I call them deep oils because they just have that lovely um, comforting kind of aroma about them. Uh, certainly Serenity do the dedicated blends as well um, called um, Serenity. That is a beautiful one to have. It's got a combination of oils that are good for supporting with um, keeping calm and helping to relax and unwind. Uh, so yeah, definitely look for those kind of, kind of oils. And can you put them in a diffuser and um, have the aromas around the house as well as ingesting them? 
Can you ingest so all of them? It does depend on the oil. Not all um, oils um, you can ingest, um, but the tarot is very clear about the ones that, that you can. Um, no other oil other than doTERRA should be ingested. These have been um, tested um, so that you can do that. Uh, but the main ways that you want to use them are either, say, topically or aromatically. So aromatically, you can pop them in a diffuser, as you say, which is just a lovely way to um, dispense them throughout a room or your home. Lots of people like to um, zone their home. So maybe if you've got um, a child upstairs in bed, um, you might want to have something that's calming and relaxing for them. If you're trying to do some work downstairs in the study and you need a bit of energy and um, you might want to put something like wild orange in your diffuser so that you can actually zone your rooms according to what's going on at, at the time. It's also a really great way um, to share the oils with others in your home. Um, so if you've got uh, teenagers who perhaps aren't that keen on applying the, the oils or using them themselves, you can actually put them into your atmosphere to just create a calmer atmosphere. So that's a, a really lovely way to do it. And then obviously the other way is topically. So that's applying it direct to the skin. Again, you want to um, use a carrier oil or a natural moisturizer if you don't have a carrier oil so that you can um, apply that to the skin and it kind of helps with any potential sensitivity, but also it's really good to put it with a carrier oil because it keeps it onto the skin for longer. It actually helps it to be absorbed into the skin um, more easily. So you actually get a better effect. So it's not diluting it as such, it's actually just helping you to apply it to a wider area and to be absorbed into the skin. Is it is it harmful if you put, put the oils directly onto the skin? Um, most of the Tatera oils, you're okay to put them directly onto the skin, providing you're not getting any sensitivity. Um, some of the ones that you want to watch really are um, the citrus oils. This is because they are photosensitive. So you don't really want to put them um, on any area of skin that is then going to be exposed to the sun because that then makes your skin, or potentially makes your skin more sensitive. Right, so, okay, that, that's, that's good advice. So um, sleep, anxiety, emotions, and so on. And what's so different about the deterioro oils? We, we spoke briefly about the quality, but how, how, how tell us about the quality and, and why, it, why is it important? Well, you'll probably know that you can get oils from pretty much anywhere. You can get them off the high street. You can get them off the internet. Um, they can seem really cheap. You can get them very, very um, cheaply indeed. But what you have to bear in mind is uh, what's actually in that bottle. Now, there are no regulations as to the minimum amount of oil that needs to be in a bottle. So there could be as little as 4% of essential oil in that bottle, and you've got no idea what else is in there. Um, it can be um, extra chemicals. It can be um, just lots of carrier oil so it's really really diluting the effect of it um it can be other oils that it claims to be that oil but because it smells like it they've used a cheaper one they substitute something else um there can be ones that aren't dangerous and there can be additions that are dangerous the point is you don't know what's in that bottle and as soon as you put that into a diffuser you're breathing in you put it onto your skin it's being absorbed into your body and absolutely no way should you be ingesting any oil um that isn't a terror which are the oils that are digestible in ingestible <clears throat> Um, off the top of my head, there's a, a few like tea tree, um, deep blue, winter green. Generally with doTERRA, the ones we supply with a, an extra safety cap. Um, I don't know if I've got one here. Um, they just look like the caps are slightly different, um, which suggests that you shouldn't be ingesting those. But there is um, documentation or a PDF fact sheet with every oil. So you can be absolutely clear on which ones um, you shouldn't be ingesting. Okay, so tea tree, deep blue, um, 
and wintergreen winter green, they're not for they're not Definite, for ingesting no. yeah. they are they're more for, um from my understanding more for kind of muscle oil um uh relief yeah. uh pain relief type things winter green and deep blue are for pain relief um tea tree is really good as a natural um disinfectant antibiotic antifungal um so yeah so mm. whenever i get a a cut or anything or on my skin you know I or a little scratch then I'm always putting the tea tree on there and actually some oregano as well with it yeah very good oregano is one that is ingestible and I sometimes add yes um to salad dressings and things because um it's it's so potent you only need one drop don't you and it's really quite strong the thing we always say if you're doing it with cooking um is the toothpick test so generally um from the bottle you just take a drop out onto a dish and then get a toothpick, just dip the toothpick into the oil, then swirl it into your cooking, taste it and then see. And then if you want some more, do it again, because once you've put that whole drop in, you can't get it mm. out and yeah. it can be really, really strong. Um, so then you can manage the, the amount. You need so little with the terror. Mm, absolutely so the bottles even though they're small they they last forever I've got some that I've been carrying around for a long time um, and they do last don't they it's not like they're going to go out off no they don't go off the the only ones that kind of have a time limit really are the um citrus ones and but even those last for like five years so excellent yeah, but the, the other ones last for ages and ages mm. Um, some of the listeners will know that uh, I had stage four cancer in 2015 and part oh, of my um, I, I beat it in 14 weeks. And, you know, it's part of my story of wellness. And, and that's why I'm passionate about helping other people and so on, um, because I know how to get out of trouble. I know how not to get into trouble now um, and what you do to get out of it. And um, the doTERRA oils were part of my uh, wellness strategy for recovery and particularly frankincense. Yes. Um, so I was ingesting frankincense. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember how many drops, but I was, I was, I was necking it. And, um, yeah, yeah. Um, and, um, I kept it up for about 18 months, still, still uh, just taking the, uh, uh, it sounds quite gross really, but I was just taking it straight from the bottle because that's not to be advisable listeners. If you're, if you're listening to this, um, but I was really hardcore and I was determined. Drop your tongue. Mm, yeah yeah that's what that's that's right so under the tongue is the best place to put anything that you're taking in the body because um below the tongue you've got um receptors that get get um whatever you're putting there straight into the tissue so it's it's very effective so um yes yeah, so that's that's how i know that frankincense is uh, both good for cancer but also general health and wellness and uh, that it's ingestible frankincense so, is like mm. one of the oils that we call a power oil um, basically, mm -hmm. as you know, it's um, it's really effective at um, helping with tissue and cells and can get into cells. Um, but also it's one that if you mix it with any other oil, it somehow has the ability to give that other oil extra power as well. Um, so it's a great one for, for mixing. So, yeah, so that one and Kabiba as well, kind of power oils, we like to, to say. Mm, I didn't know that about the mixer. I've always taken it neat, but that's a good tip. Thank you. Um, yeah, you can mix it. Kabiba, what, what's, what's that one? Um, Kabiba is another one that's, um, it's obviously from the tree, so it's very, very woody. Um, that's a really good one for pain as well. It's a nice pain, pain one. The good thing with the oils is that um, there are, they have a variety of different uses. So if you find one oil that you know, you're not getting on with, or it's not giving you the benefit that you were expecting, or you just don't really like the aroma of it. There is another one that you can try. And um, the same as if you, you know, went to the pharmacist and, and you tried something for a wellness issue and it didn't work first time, you don't just kind of go, oh, well, that's all rubbish then, or anything that I buy from that shop is going to be rubbish. You go back and you go, well, that actually didn't quite work for, for me. And they'll come back with something else that you might be able to try. And although as um, advocates, we don't diagnose um, or treat anything, um, there are options that, you know, we can give you to try if something didn't didn't work as you were expecting or, or needed it to. Mm. And the, the range is huge, isn't it? It's not just, you know, one or two oils. Um, do you know off the top of your head how many oils there are? 
I believe there's about 3,000. Oh, really? Oh, my goodness. I didn't realise it was that, that uh, yeah. much. Goodness me. The, wow. Yeah, there are definitely. So when people say to me, what does this oil do? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know 3,000 oils. Mm. Um, so we have our go-to um, reference guides that we can use so, you know, that we can refer back to them. And obviously we have our, our team of advocates who've had personal experiences. And so there's always someone that that we can ask and anyone that's a customer with me um, gets access to all the reference um, material. Um, and we also provide a free um, app called Droply. Um, it's free to our customers. We buy it for them um, so that they've always got that on hand if they want to check something. Um, so they're not always having to rely on us all the time to, to be around. You know, if you want to know something, you want to know it now, not when I can call you back in, mm. you know, two hours time or something. So and that's a really lovely thing to that our team gift to our customers. And one thing I really would like to share about the tarot, we were talking about how they were different, um, is a lot of people will say, um, well, yes, I've got lavender, you know, and it's the same. It truly isn't because 98% of our contracts that we have for oils are with the Pharma Direct. So no other company is getting exactly the same plants and the same oil as we get. Uh, we also don't go through the third agency. So a lot of these companies, they will use a third party um, who will gather in the oils uh, or the plants and make the oils mm -hmm. and then they'll go out to that third party we manage the whole process from start to finish and the lovely thing that I really like about the Terra is that obviously a farmer would take 12 months maybe to grow a crop for oil oils if at the end of that time the crop isn't sufficiently of good enough quality for us to use the oils the Terra won't use them obviously but they still pay the farmer and I just think that that is incredible. It's very ethical. I mean, it's nice to hear of a, an ethical um, company because they're few and far between these days, sadly. Mm -hmm. but the, the other thing with the tarot as well is that, um, as I've mentioned, that they, there's no legal requirement for the amount of oil, but also there's no regulation. There was no testing for purity and quality. So what Deterra did was they made their own um, tests and we have an independent company now that tests all the oils and on the bottom of every bottle, I don't know if you can see that, can you see that? There's a yes. number, mm -hmm. Yes. right? So you can go to a website called source to you you can type in that number and it will tell you all the testing it's been through, um, where it's come from, you can trace the oil to where it's come from. Well, wow, that's, that's very good. Very good indeed. Thank you. So how do people get hold of you, Tracy? OK, so I've got um, a Facebook page, which um, they're very welcome to hop along to. That's Tracy um, Oils Life. Um, or they can email me at um, Tracy at Oils Life um, Gmail dot com. Cool. Or yeah, or if do you have a chat or something and I can put some details underneath your where you're when sharing? You, when you booked in for the, the call, um, you would have put all that information in. So my PHS will pick all that information up and we'll post it underneath the um the video when it comes out, the recording, etc. So um fabulous. Is there any any tips maybe for a beginner, somebody who's maybe not experienced oils at all before? Where 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 do they start? I think there's a couple of things that that they can do. Firstly, I would um, recommend reaching out to me to have a couple of sample oils. Um, they can let me know what their particular wellness issue is, and I will happily send them a couple of mini bottles so they can try them out for themselves. And then I would highly recommend coming on one of our free classes. Now, it's not a big pitch thing. Um, it's so interesting about um, how the oils work, why they work, more in depth about um, how they get into the body and the benefits they can give. And what it goes through is the top 10 essential oils that can deal with 80% of most common wellness issues. 
Um, so it's a really good class to come on board with. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it the first time I did it. I was really wowed by it. Um, you get a chance to ask questions if you want to, or you can sit with your screen off and just listen. Um, it's really non-intrusive and they'd be very, very welcome to come. And I think they'd get a lot out of it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Remind us of those contact details again, Tracy. Okay, so it's um, Tracy, um, Essential Oils Life at gmail.com, or they can come onto my Facebook page, which is um, Tracy Oils Life. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed for your time today. It's very interesting. Oh, I hope I've helped um, a little bit. I, I can talk about essential oils for like hours. So, <laughs> so thank you. I really hope they've found, um, found it of benefit. Wonderful. Thank you, Tracy. Thanks, Elaine.